just getting first glimpses of Aragon Bay now this is like the main point I came here like eight years ago and got it really really good it was like four foot and just reeling like all the way down here but yeah we'll see I think the swell looks pretty small but we're still gonna be able to get some waves I think yeah so this is like the top of the point and then from what if I remember correctly from last time it like runs down kind of through that bit it gets a bit punchier and then like reels off down the end. This is the better one. No, but around it. It's not that many people out for out here. I mean, it's not that big or good, but it's kind of like two, three foot and there's like 10 guys out, which is pretty sick. That's a really good one. Oh, look at that one, old mate's on. It's got quite a nice style, that guy. Oh, look at that one. Oh my God. to my surfing <laughs> shit dog shit <laughs> so yeah that's uh, I guess airing a main point on like a really small shit day um, we were watching it before and it looks so bad I was pretty close saying I'm not going out but then went out and it was actually okay there's kind of like this little mid section of the reef where it like stands up a little bit and you can do turns it's quite punchy but when you look at it from here it looks so dire but yeah, as you can see here, this little section through the middle is actually really sick. Um, so I actually had quite a bit of fun, so obviously wasn't surfing amazing, but hope that kind of showed you what main point it has to offer. Um, so this is like the main point, oh, whoa, almost in the barrel. Should have been filming that. So yeah, this is like the main point. There's a few other waves in the area that I'll let you go and explore for yourself, but this is like the biggest and most consistent wave. Definitely pretty fun. It's like a little bit you know it, it doesn't really on like the biggest days it like back it can barrel like on that middle section but generally it's just like a fun like fairly weak like point break for advanced surfers it's just sick for turns and then for intermediates it's a really really sick wave and that's kind of i guess like the clientele that makes up most of the crowd out there so because we're here in october it's right at the end of the season so it's actually way less crowded than it normally is you know like been i mean granted it has been like two foot and cross on shore but there's only ever been like sort of 10 guys out there which considering in the main season there can be like 50 people out there it's uh pretty good i'm definitely not complaining so yeah we're gonna head back into town now get some food and then we're gonna check out some of the local wildlife here in sri lanka which is gonna be pretty sick so stay tuned So here's everything you need to know about surfing in Aragon Bay. Uh, we're staying at a place called Papoyo Surf Resort. So we've got this room here and we're paying around 20 bucks per night for this room. It's pretty basic, but it's, it's got good Wi-Fi, um, good AC, and we're splitting it between us. So it's around $10 a night, which is pretty good to be honest. I mean, the only downside to this place is it's just a little bit further down the road. So 
to get to main point it's, is like a 15, 20 minute walk. I mean, we've kind of got a bit used to it now, so it's all good, but yeah, I'll leave links to some of the best accommodations in Aragon on booking.com and Hostel World. You know, you can find rooms for less than $10 a night if you're willing to stay in, in a hostel and you can also find cheap private. So it's a big enough surf town now. It's, it's got a hell of a lot bigger since I first came here eight years ago. So there's a lot of options, no matter what your budget. So getting to Aragon Bay is relatively straightforward, just very, very long. Now, Aragon Bay is around an eight hour drive from Colombo Airport. So this is definitely something you've got to be prepared for, especially if you've traveled internationally beforehand. The best way to get to Aragon is by private taxi transfer. I'd suggest arranging this via your accommodation and usually it costs between 100 and 150 US dollars so if there's a few of you and you can split it it's actually not too bad but if you're by yourself it's gonna be a pretty significant cost unfortunately the other modes of transport in Sri Lanka don't go to the East Coast so you can't actually take the train I mean you could get buses and stuff but to be honest, to save yourself the hassle, it's just so much easier to get the private taxi transfer. Once you're in Aragon Bay, if you're staying in town, you can easily walk to the main point once you're there. So to be honest, you don't really need transport. I mean, if you get sick of the crowds at main point, it is good to have a vehicle so you can go and explore some of the other waves in the area. I'd recommend either hiring a tuk-tuk, which you can do so for around $15 per day, just make sure you know how to drive one. Or you can take tuk-tuk taxis in Aragon. They're really easy to find. You basically can't walk down the street without getting hassled to jump in one. So that's super easy. So the town itself is a pretty small town, to be honest. It's, it's more just one long street with loads of accommodations, restaurants and cafes all along it. Quite a bit happening. There's places to get good coffee. There's good breakfast places, places to do yoga, surf camps, hostels, private accommodation, kind of just everything you need, loads of surf schools and places to hire boards. So yeah, it's definitely a pretty well established surf town. It seems to be growing as well. So yeah, you need to surf Aragon in season. Now the points in Aragon only work between April and October. Outside of the season, it gets pretty rainy, pretty windy, and there's generally just not much swell. I mean, if you're in Sri Lanka outside of the season, you can keep an eye on the chart and you know, you might get a random swell. But to be honest, I'd recommend heading to the south coast instead. And one of the biggest misconceptions about the main point in Aragon is that it's a sand bottom right point. And it's actually not. So although in the photos, it looks like you've got perfect golden sand going into the water, it's actually reef. And although the reef is pretty flat, it's quite sharp in some spots, so that's definitely something you need to be careful of. A lot of people out there are wearing reef boots. I mean, wouldn't say you really need to do that, to be honest, because you don't need to touch the reef that much. Just be very careful when you're getting in and out, especially when you're getting out, because you know, the water can like sweep along the reef, and if you're not on your feet, you can get kind of dragged across it. So I'd recommend when you get out, just try and stand up early and yeah walk across it and then in Aragon there's loads of other cool stuff to do as well most notably is checking out some of the wildlife along the main street there's loads of places where you can take a safari tour now we actually headed on a safari tour in Aragon Bay and we went there to see elephants and to be honest we didn't actually see any elephants so we had a bit of a change of plan and we headed a few hours south to a bigger and better national park where we were told we were guaranteed to see elephants so let's check that out so we just traveled three or four hours south of Aragon Bay. We just entered Udawalawe National Park and we're gonna see some elephants, so can't wait to show you. Oh my God. <laughs> wow. Wow, that's amazing. It is, it is amazing. Yeah. What's what's he doing now? Uh, now uh, now it is uh, uh, peel some uh, peel on the tree. Yeah? Ah, okay. Yes. Oh my god. <laughs> you see, always dro uh, dropping, ne? Eh? Yeah. Oh, 
so like magnificent, isn't it? That's amazing. <laughs> what the hell? Wow. Oh, I always thought that they would always be like in groups. But... We've been in the national park for literally like two minutes and we already saw an elephant like literally five feet away from us. <laughs> Fucking insane. So sick. Something here, leopard. Leopard? leopard? They're leopard tracks. Yes, tracks, yes. Wow. Oh, yeah. Here, can you, madam? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Well, Place what do you think? Better than the other place. <laughs> yeah. We did a safari the other day, but we didn't see any wildlife basically. Oh, we did, that's not fair. Like a lot of monkeys and yeah. We just didn't see any elephants, but now we're seeing them like so we saw close. Them in the dark. Yeah. But you guys couldn't see that, so now you can. Driving around Udo Alloway. Got to see some pretty epic stuff. Whoa. I fell out of the van. Um, yeah, we got pretty close to some elephants as you saw there. So if you're on a surf trip to Sri Lanka, it's definitely a cool place to check out. Um, I'll leave a link in the description to the place that we stayed at because they organized our safari and taxi and everything for us. And um, Boudicca, the, the owner, is an absolute legend, so I'll leave the link in the description where you can check that out. Um, yeah, hope you've enjoyed this episode of Aragon Bay. Uh, for now, it's goodbye from me, and I'll see you in the next episode.